Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I had several questions from viewers about microwaves, uh, older ones, are they worth more in scrap value? Do all of the transformers contain copper? Um, should I still be picking up the newer microwaves and questions like that? So today what I want to do is answer those questions. I do also want to take a look at these four older microwaves. Um, I was actually given two of them from a lady in our neighborhood. She had no use for them anymore. They were broken down and they are both from 1995. So this Danby here, uh, I've seen a number of Danby models, uh, never won this style. This one here is a Sanyo. This too is 1995. The other two I did find on garbage day. So you still will find older ones. They are a great source of scrap value, uh, lots of copper inside of them. But the modern ones do also potentially have copper in the transformers as well. Microwaves are one of the most common items I find on garbage day. They are very easy to take apart and they are all made the same. Uh, there's still copper inside of the newer ones despite the transformers potentially being now aluminum. But again, I still find modern ones that have copper transformers. So going to answer those questions with an experiment. I have already opened up these, taken out the guts, and I do have videos on full breakdowns of microwaves, so I will include those video links in the description. First thing you always want to make sure is that you uh, discharge the capacitor. I love this one. This one came out of the older one here. It does have the warning on it. And I will say what's interesting about these microwaves is these older ones actually don't have the security screws on them anymore. Uh, the screws that have the little nub in the middle. Uh, I do have a security set, L key set that I purchased um, that is used for more of the newer ones uh, in order to get into those microwaves. So safety has definitely changed, but you do have to make sure anytime you're working with microwaves, discharge that capacitor. They come in different sizes. And as I said, I do have full breakdowns on those. Uh, and I do want to talk about some of the parts. So again, this one is 1995. This one here is 95. This Kenmore here had the wooden panel. This was actually 1982. This is a nice heavy one. And this one here, this, um, what is this, an HG, this is actually 2005. So all four of them, really old. And I do also want to answer another question. Someone said that they, um, some of, they were scrapping the other day. They picked up a microwave, realized it was really light. They did cut the cord, but they assumed that there was nothing inside of it. Um, great way to check. If you turn it on the back, there is usually a screen and you will often find a fan or a copper uh, winding like that glistening in there. It comes from the uh, cooling fan. The other thing is it may not have the large transformer like this, the nice heavy one that gives it its weight. It may have an inverter like this. And these are great too. All of that is nice number two copper right here. Uh, number two copper is actually going for $4.58 a pound in London, Ontario. Uh, Canadian, I just checked today. Prices have gone up. So even number one copper, higher value, has actually jumped to $5 Canadian. So excellent, excellent prices for sure. It does also have a nice spool there that you have that's copper as well as an aluminum heat sink. This is uh, extrusion. So it could have this inverter. This is a lot lighter than your transformers. So you do want to check. And even if not, if you pass up those, there is still copper inside of that as well. The shell is tin and they are 100% scrappable. So don't pass up any microwaves, even the newer ones. They are still 100% scrappable. So going to start, as I said, all the components from the newer ones and the, and the older ones do have the same items. Nice magnetron here that has a nice copper core, some aluminum inside of that. The rest of this shell, shell is going to be tin. These fins are clean aluminum. They all have a really nice motor on the bottom that rotates the plate. They all have, this is the nice circuit board that comes out of it. Again, there is my cooling fan that has some really nice copper on that that's you know number two copper as well I did have someone say well it looks like bare bright bare bright only pertains to wire that is thicker than 16 gauge and that's about the thickness of the lead of a pencil 
So all of that, regardless of how clean it looks, is gonna be number two. And you will find different colors, sometimes darker copper, sometimes they look red. You do wanna scratch them. Um, you know, even though it looks like copper, don't assume, because I have seen some that look like copper like this and scratch it with a file. It reveals a metallic look underneath and it is actually aluminum. So you do wanna check those, but that is number two. There is always as well, right on the ribbon, that copper, I peel that off as well. The circuit board, always in the door, has a nice transformer. This too has copper in it. Uh, the rest of that I do take, put into my tin. Some nice relay boxes that have a small spool of copper and silver inside. Uh, as well, there are some nice chips on here, IC chips, um, capacitors that you see here. The older, the better. Uh, some people will go into micro scrapping and take a lot of that. Uh, if you are not into that, at least the rest of this board is going to be e-waste. And I get about five cents a pound for e-waste in Sarnia, Ontario. Uh, but I do want to make sure I take off that transformer and the relay boxes. The rest of this wire, this is all going to be 60% uh, appliance wire. And this is all right now going for $2.00. 63 cents a pound in London, Ontario. So all of this is single strand wire, uh, one coating, sorry, of plastic. Uh, so all of this is their higher value appliance wire. So I do make sure that I take that. Uh, a lot of people will just, especially now the newer models, just cut off these cords, the appliance cords. These are still a great item back in the day as well as now. These have not changed all of them. This is going to be classified as 40% appliance wire. So as you can see, inside there are three strands of wire that are coated with plastic and an outer coating. Because this has two layers of plastic, it's higher plastic uh, content, lower copper recovery. But still, in London, Ontario, this 40% appliance wire is going for $1.54 a pound. I do separate it as I'm going. I made the mistake when I began putting it all together and then waiting the night before to the scrapyard to separate it. So I did waste a lot of time with that. So I do have heavy duty bags, uh, two different ones to separate the 40% and 60%. Uh, I do recommend um, high grade bags. I use my grass seed bags because this does get heavy. Both my bags weigh over 70 pounds because I just keep stuffing in the cord. Um, but great value here, uh, old microwaves and newer ones. This is gonna be aluminum still, and as I said, your 40% appliance wire. They always do have as well brass prongs. Some people leave those on for the weight. I take them off, I put them into my brass bucket. Brass right now is going for about $3.25 a pound. Uh, so it is a good uh, price as well. Uh, some people say that doesn't really matter, but it depends on how much you have. I have a whole bucket of these and it continues to add up weight. Uh, you will find some, especially the older ones, that are actually the yellow brass prongs. They too can be put in with these uh, coated brass, so there is no difference, um, but I save them as well. But great value here, 40% appliance wire. Okay, and the last thing that I wanna look at is the transformers. So all four of these transformers have been taken out. And this is actually a new one that I have uh, that I pulled out of a modern microwave. And both of these windings are aluminum. I've done the scratch test. As you can see, just putting a file on, uh, on it, that shows a metallic look underneath. This one here, once I've done the casing, that too reveals a metallic. So this is aluminum winding, but this is still great value. This weighs 10 pounds as is. And I won't even waste my time opening this. I will put it right into my tin or shred pile. Right now in London, Ontario, tin or shred is going for 14 cents a pound. So $1.40 for this, just as is. Uh, Sarnia, Ontario, it's going for 10 cents a pound, so a dollar for this. So you're still getting scrap value. Yeah, I don't pass up anything on microwaves, as I said. I just, I wanna make sure I check to see if it is copper. Uh, some people will pull the aluminum out, but that is very light. It's not, in my opinion, worth it. Um, you know, a grinding disc for sure, it's not worth that. So again, I still get a dollar for this. Okay, moment of truth. I have not done the scratch test on these transformers. So this Danby here, this is my coil. 
Uh, sometimes you will get transformers that are, as that one was, aluminum, aluminum. Sometimes you'll get aluminum, copper, sometimes copper, aluminum, and sometimes the money ones, copper, copper. So even if one of these is copper, I'm going to take it apart because that copper is going to be worth a lot more as number two copper than it would be as a transformer weight. There is categories for transformers and the value right now, if it's copper, copper in London, there are categories. Copper, copper, I think is 50 cents a pound um, or 35 cents a pound. One copper, one aluminum, I think is um, 13 cents a pound. And aluminum, aluminum, I know is seven cents a pound. So I'm gonna make more money bringing it in as tin than I would as transformer weight. So there's a good thing, knowing your prices for sure. Um, but this one, doing the scratch test, very easy taking a file. There's always one that's exposed. Boom, look at that, that's copper. Inside this one, um, I haven't peeled the paper yet. There is paper on this one, so I will actually have to take a screwdriver flathead just to kind of scratch this open a little bit. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna see if this one is copper or aluminum. Gotta get deep enough down to get that tape through. Look at that, there it is. So that is copper right on the corner. So this Stanby here, copper, copper, great value there. There's one. Here is my Kenmore, again. This is, as I said, 1982, nice and heavy. That is copper. The other side, I'm gonna have to peel that one too. I've already peeled it a little bit, ticker tape. So there you go, copper, copper. Uh, this one again, 1995. They do come in different sizes, as you can see, but both are very heavy, okay? That is copper. Notice the different colors. Okay, so you do have them different colors. Um, where is that? Out? Okay, so this one doesn't have ticker tape, so let's see this one. Ooh, baby. That one is copper as well, so three, copper, copper. And my last one, this is, as I said, 2005. I'm gonna check. I have aluminum. Okay, but again, I want to make sure I check both. So that is copper. You can see it. So even if one of them is copper, I'm going to get that copper out for sure. And I do have different transformers. My inverter, as I said, I do want to make sure I scratch that as well. You can see right there, there is copper as well. So that inverter does have a nice ribbon of copper as well, as well as my little, I call them copper donuts, but you can see right there too, scratch that, that's copper as well. All right, so last thing I'm going to do, uh, I do also want to mention the doors as well. They do have some tape. Anytime you have these buttons, there is a silver Mallard board in it. Uh, all of the new ones, as well as the old ones, do have it. Um, so this does have silver in it. Okay, so last thing I'm gonna do, just gonna open this one for this video. Very easy to do, different types of transformers for sure. You will get some like this that are electronic ones that you can peel off, okay? There is some beautiful copper in there. But these ones, very easy. All I'm gonna do is take a grinder and I'm just gonna grind down that weld and I will take a nice heavy file, I'll pry it open. Uh, and open it. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna weigh this copper for you. See how much is just in this one. Um, so very easy as I said. Just gonna get my safety glasses. Get my bench vice ready. Uh, this does smell sometimes with the grinding for sure. My wife knows when I come in that I've been doing grinding because it does produce a little bit of smell. So you want to make sure the door is open. Um, you're gonna want to wash your clothes because the smell does linger in your clothes, but safety glasses for sure. And I will wear a mask when I'm doing a lot of grinding, but just because this is a quick one, I won't. But here we go, just gonna grind down that.
nice grind, so I made sure I grinded down the weld. Just gonna put it back on there. Take my nice punch here, if you will, or uh, my, what do you call these things? Um, <laughs> I'm totally forgetting here, but nice heavy hand hammer as well. Just gonna shove it right in the crack. Look at that. And we're in caution, it can be a little warm, uh, but there it is, I'm just gonna twink that off. So some really nice tin for sure there. This is nice and heavy. There is my copper, two spools of it. Just gonna put it back in my vise now. Uh, that's what a wedge I call that, sorry. Whew. It's a little early in the morning and I've only had one coffee. I haven't had my second yet, so that's part of the reason I think my brain's not working. But here we go, just gonna cut that out now. Now I use a lighter hammer, just so it's easier to maneuver. I'm gonna put it underneath, put it down, break it down. And sometimes it is heavy, sometimes it does take a little bit of time to get this out. Okay, but there it is. There's my one, so this is copper. In order to get the second one out, there is two pieces of metal here. You do have to pull those out um, to get that last one out. So all I'm gonna do there is take another screwdriver here, put it between to get that little wedge. Sometimes just hitting it out. Okay, so again, there is a little bit of tin there as well. So again, more tin, last one here. Again, this might be a little bit trickier to get out, but that's all right. That copper is gonna be worth it. Little bit. All right, I will get my scale here. So there's my scale set up. So two of these, and I still have a nice chunk of tin as well. It all adds up. That's the other great thing about microwaves is that you can just open them up, put the rest of your tin in there. Easy to transport, um, easy to bring it in. So I do pull the paper off, a little bit of that. Do have to take off the wire, but this paper is not gonna weigh too much, so I'm not gonna pull it off right now for this video. But here we go, two nice spools of number two copper. Gonna set up my, come on now, here we go. So as I said, number two copper going for $4 and what I say, 58 cents, so I got, One pound, nine ounces, 0.9. So one, almost one and three quarters of number two copper there. Okay, so again, as I said, $4.58 a pound. So almost, you know, seven, eight dollars, or sorry, nine dollars for this, um, which is great. I do have two more. Um, they do fluctuate a little bit in weight uh, thickness. So probably gonna get, you know, a couple pounds from each. I have had some that are two and a half pounds, um, especially these bigger transformers. I have seen some that are just monster, you know, the casing alone with the copper inside could be 15 pounds uh, with the steel in there. So three pounds of copper. But again, not a bad score from such a small microwave, okay? Um, so yes, older ones, you can see all four of them did have copper but there are some newer ones that still do have copper. Um, you do want to check. If they are lighter, you do look in that little screen in the back. There will be copper windings from the fan, okay? Don't assume because it's light that it's been taken apart. 
It could have an inverter, okay? And again, all microwaves, one of the most common items you're gonna find, always have copper inside, regardless if the transformer does or not. So hopefully that answered some of those questions. Uh, please comment down below. I will include full teardowns again, as I said, from these, uh, as well as other transformers that you will find, um, as well as other experiment videos that I have. So again, thanks for those questions. Thanks for watching. Please again, comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.